guys, today is Monday. We hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. And once again, Happy New Year. Ha is there like a Happy New Year song? No. And if there was that, no, that, that definitely should. That, that oh, definitely nobody was. knows the worst of that song. Now. Should all acquaintance be forgot? Stop, and that's all you know. Nobody else knows any other and lyrics. And ever brought to and We're done. If anybody knows the lyrics, put them in the comments and don't copy and paste off Google. What are the real lyrics? What's the name of that song? Old like Ang I Yeah, it's like a German. Yeah, it's like a German name or something. Old anxiety. Any boodle. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Today, Eric and I are here in the kitchen. Why are we in the kitchen? We're in the kitchen because we are coming back in from hanging out today. And we were in the car discussing things that we want to be left behind in 2020. As we saw a few of these, what we will call infractions while we were out. So Want to hear about it? The first one go. is couples dressing alike. As you can see, I got dressed first. And somebody saw what I had on and it's going to come out the bed. But like, what? why are you just my swag? You just. Uh, true story. Eric only has like two colors in his wardrobe. That is not true. Eric, black and gray, same thing. No, you. that's your son. Black I have a, a lot two of. Two colors. A so, lot of colors. Um, no matter what I come out in, if I put on black or gray, I'm matching Eric. Any hoodle. You only do black and gray too. Hey, but dress alike. Hey, if you want to do the Black Marriages Matter shirt. Shameless plug. Oh, oh we're pink. back open. Yeah. <laughs> we're back open. Eric has been missing you guys in the pink package shout out. So yeah. put him back to work, y'all. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of dressing, our first, and we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Dressing overly casual in public, and let's break it up into categories, specifically. Should we leave the fuzzy oh. house shoes out in public in 2020? Our house shoes, All right. these hybrid house shoe slippers. 2021 called me, we're friends, all right? And she said, Tan, could you let the girls oh. know that we would like to leave bonnets in the grocery store, bonnets wow. in Walmart, you go bonnets ahead. in the mall? She said, it wasn't me, 2021 said, could we please leave that in 2020? She said, don't come over here with that. She said, 2020 was the type of girl, you know, she put up with anything. What about do rags? Oh. That, is that the. 2021 also said, girls, tell your guys, your waves, if you cannot secure the waves in your hair while you are asleep, if you cannot secure the waves in your hair while you're walking around your house, sir, it's done. It's done. Do not leave the house with a do rag. This isn't me. This is this is this 2020. is 2021. Let me say that, and guys, this is all in good fun. Don't take it too seriously because I'm gonna point out there's a little bit of I, I sense a little bit of hypocriticality here. What? The whole slip. So I hate these shoes. These right here. Leave a comment. Are the bane. Leave a existence. comment. Let me know. These are slippers. If Eric These are house shoes. Of his mind. These are house shoes the because Gucci what it is. Prince Town. Because loafers. this is just a house shoe, and then you're lazy. You don't have to lace anything up. You just slide your shoe in. The fur. Those you got the fur. shoes have the fur because they are a winter. How do you keep this clean? Season. How do you keep this clean? You need now look. Now. And then this isn't a winter shoe. Your heel is out, so no, that's gonna get ashy. I promise you. That's gonna crust up and get ashy. Lotion up. No. So you are Lotion a little up. bit of a hypocrite. No, those are not the slippers. That's a house that 2021 shoe. was talking about. These fashion. That Gucci isn't the only one that makes them. They're selling our I will house insert shoes. a picture oh. of what she's talking about ladies the slippers that she wants to remain inside the house now she doesn't have a problem with the slippers per se she feels that they are extremely stylish very comfortable I as like I own shoes. a couple of pairs but she is asking me to ask you guys to please keep those inside of the house hi guys Please excuse this interruption and also please excuse this look right here. Today is actually hair wash day for me. Please let me know what you look like on hair wash day. This is me. Uh, but I wanted to stop in and show some Instagram love to my girl, Kaz Hamlin. 
She is always showing me just the most love over on Instagram, the posts and everything that I do over there. I cannot thank her enough, so I wanted to pop in and just share her page with you guys this morning. Like I said, she's always showing me just the best love. Here's some, uh, here are a few highlights from her Instagram, like me, she is a nature girl. I love this uh, video capture here. She has uh, the flowers and the bees. I am pretty sure there are those of you out there who can really appreciate some pretty flowers and some, you know, bees and scenery uh, right now, as I'm sure it's snowing in many places across the US. And I did not know that she was a crafter. I absolutely am a crafter at heart and um, you'll have to let us know if you sell some of your crafting pieces. I love that piece right there. So here, I'll just end her page right here. I'll end it on this right here. It says, it's a small habits, how you spend your mornings, how you talk to yourself, what you read, what you watch, who you share your energy with, who has access to you, that will change your life. I love that, I love that. So I think what I'll start doing here is every week, just pop in and share a little Instagram love with you guys. And so please make sure you are following me over on Instagram. And once again, Kaz Hanlon, thank you so much love for all the support that you show me on Instagram. I really do appreciate it. Now back to the video. We got a lot of feedback too, and because we, we talked about this before, mm -hmm. body suits. Cat suits. Some of y'all call them, that's the old school name for them, cat suits, body suits. How do you feel about those, go? Well, it's not me. She said. This isn't us, so don't, don't put it in the comments. Leave a comment for 2021 and I'll make sure she gets it. But 2021 said, girl, no cat suits. But look, we know you have your body snatched. Oh. It is snatched. But we don't want to see you know, certain things now out is. here thrusting and thriving in the 2021 streets. Put a blazer on with it, okay, you know, okay. a nice cardigan over it. I see that. But she has said, Sit. I think some of them would say that's defeating the purpose. Let me say this too. We focused on a few different areas at Walmart, the mall. There is another place that we go mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. where you will point out inappropriate attire, and that is Orlando, specifically the theme parks. What have you witnessed on our many vacations? Y'all. I know Florida gets hot. Florida gets hot. You know, many times when we are in Florida before, you know, the things of 2020 tipped in, we'd be in Florida in the theme parks and we check the weather back here in Atlanta and it would be 80 degrees. But the 80 degrees in Florida hits different. It hits different. It's hot, but sis, your cheeks being out in the back of your shorts. 2021 has said, <laughs> is that really cooling you off? Is that really cooling you off to have your cheeks exposed? But anyway, she has asked that you limit the Daisy Dukes but isn't to that, the pool party. But don't we live in the age of there's no body shaming? I think, uh, we're I not think, body shaming. I Here's, think that's a generational thing. I think the younger generation, we, we don't let it all hang out figuratively. Well, no, well, well, 2021 is of you know, the new generation. She has said she didn't have a problem with your shorts, wear them. But when she has to put her butt in the seat ah. that your butt just came out of, and remember it's probably kind of moist because of the humidity and everything in Florida. She just said, eh, just please, just put on some longer shorts, all right? So. Since we're talking about bodies and body <laughs> shaming, what about? We are not body shaming. Your body if, shaming. If anybody's body <laughs> shaming, it's not me, it's 2021. You talk to her. What about fat diets? Oh, gosh. Yes, fat diets. All right. Um, she has asked that you guys leave that. She knows that it's, you know, up in the first of January. She knows everybody's going to be busting the gyms open, probably. I don't know. Um, and then you're going to be looking up every fat diet known to man. What she has suggested that you guys do, or, you know, those of you who may know people like this, maybe you can let them know that 2021 said this, but she wants me to let you guys know that. Portion control is really good. Eat less than you did the day before. And let me Eat say this too. The day before, make sure you're not eating a whole bunch of sugar. And again, guys, don't don't take. So I'm gonna say this, right? We're a little older, right? So we say this with experience mm -hmm. of having. 
not necessarily going down the fad diet route, but it's I've just been, it's look, just a lifestyle. No, I've been on a few diets. They don't work. It's I'm lifestyle. sorry, they just don't work. For you to sustain a healthy lifestyle, it has to be just that. And it has, it to, be has to be a healthy lifestyle. We had a neighbor who did a cabbage, cabbage. soup. All she did was eat cabbage, cabbage, yeah. cabbage, cabbage. When you hit 40, you run here eating cabbage yeah. all day. When you hit 40, sometimes 35, 30, your it body's gonna change. So you really have to fight. It becomes, it's, it's a fight. You know, mm -hmm. 30s and under, 35, you cool. 40 and over, 35, whew, it's, but it has to be a lifestyle. It has to be a lifestyle. Uh -huh. um, so I'm not saying forget, you know, trying to watch what you eat. I'm not saying go out and eat a, get a pack of Oreos and eat them in an hour. I'm not saying that. But I also, I'm not saying that, you know, you can't indulge in a, in a couple yeah. of Oreos here and there. I do. But, you know, 2021 has said, girl, don't, don't do that to yourself in 2021. Life is too short. 2020 has shown us that life is too short to go into 2021 starving off of somebody's Fat get, diet. Get healthy. I wish you all the best. I know that's going to be a lot of your resolutions. We feel you. Just be healthy. It's a lifestyle. Our next one, the next one I have on my list, people. And Eric, he has his phone here, phone. Child. It's on the list. Yeah. 2021, <laughs> call him too. People that are loud on their phones in public, mainly people that are on speaker. Is it people who are that or people who? Oh, that was just a, yeah. People, grammar Nazis. <laughs> That's another one we're tired of in 2021. People that correct you on grammar because they were teachers. Correct you. That was so people that and, and sometimes it's not even speakerphone. Some people are just loud. Like you've been in the mall or in the store walking down the street, and I know everything that's going on in your conversation. I know who you're talking to, I know what you're talking about, I know all your business. Y'all know that the post office thrusts and thrives these days, okay? And I know the line is long, long, but I don't need to hear all of your yesterday's last night's ongoings as I wait in line y'all 2021 has said save some of your personal phone calls your personal business for when you get back in the car and speaking of personal business it's not just on the phone because I also see a lot of people sharing their social business their business on social media that's the other look yeah. If you're into it with your spouse or your girlfriend, you know, you can set a status. I'm single. That's fine. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm searching, mm -hmm. but, and you see this more with celebrities, just going back and forth with your spouse. Or yeah. Your, no. That's the other thing 2021 yeah. has stressed that, you know, if you know somebody that does this, cause I know none of you guys do this. She has asked that you guys, if you have an issue with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, significant other, please don't get into the comments on Twitter and or Instagram and start, you know, reading and I, them. And I think don't, that's more of a, I think that's more of a celebrity thing, but yeah. I do think some people will don't follow the celebrities. Don't, don't do follow the celebrities. Yeah. You got their number. Yeah. You got their number. Don't be on Instagram. You know, airing out all the dirty laundry, your husband didn't spend any time, or excuse me, your baby daddy didn't spend any time with the kids over Christmas because he laid up with the thought. Who was this? Iggy Azalea. That, that was that example. Iggy Azalea did that with her boyfriend or whoever he is today. But girl, you got his number. And if you're calling him and he's not responding, then you putting him on blast on Instagram, it's really a mute point. He don't care. <laughs> Let it. Go. I think I said in the last video too, y'all, women, let these sorry son of a guns go. 2021 says she don't want them over here with her. Leave them in 2020. Yeah. The next one is a personal pet peeve of mine. I don't have a problem with it. Yes, yeah, she. All right, all right. At night, the racing in public, <laughs> the racing in public streets. I think COVID and everything that happened in 2020, the culture is just different now. And I also think cars have gotten just so powerful. I'm, I'm a car guy. Let me just say that first. You know, I've talked about, you know, I'll sit with my wife and, you know, she'll show me a makeup video. But when I'm not forced to watch the makeup videos with you, I'm watching car videos. She'll tell you. I love a Doug good car DeMiro. video. Doug DeMiro. If you guys DeMiro. like cars or yeah. your husband likes cars, he's Doug DeMiro is here on YouTube. He's, he he's does a big really YouTube. good. Yeah. Uh, Merck Benz King. I love him. Hello, guys. He's a German Merck guy that does King. all my watching it. I love. Yeah. I love video. Merck Benz King. Merck Benz King. King. He's German so his accent. He says. But. Hello guys. Merck Benz King. 
in 2020, guys have just started racing their cars and it's like on pedestrian streets, on residential streets. You know, they sell these cars now that are 500, 600, 700 horsepower. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago, to get a car that powerful, you have to get like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Now you can get a, you know, an entry level car basically off the lot that is super powerful. Mm -hmm. So these young guys have these cars and they got all that power, but they're just racing up and down the street. And it's just annoying. Remember our first house? We had that neighbor in the cul-de-sac. He actually raced his cars. He took it to like a drag strip, but he would rev his car up on like the week. And, th and this is when Chase was like a baby. Chase was like one or two. And he would rev his car. Wow. We had to finally go talk to him and say, look, we got a, we got a newborn. Like, mm -hmm. bro, I appreciate the fast car stuff. Like I'm into it, but it you down. can't do that mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. I yeah. think they actually ended up moving so he could. So let us car. know, leave a comment. Let us know if you have yeah. as of late been having issues with street racing. People, people just drive faster now too. So yeah. we'll add that to 2021. Guys, like stop where y'all going. It's not even, Be it's safe. Nothing even really open. There are places you can go and race and drag. Just do it in, in that place. And then Gosh. the last one, and this one is kind of serious in all seriousness, because um, there was just an incident in New York at Arlo Hotels. Um, at who? The Karens at Arlo Hotels in New York, the Karens. Um, you actually made a shirt last year referencing this. So that sound, guys, was the sound of glass breaking as my wife threw this particular Karen through the window. Well, at least that's what she wanted to do when she heard the story and realized what I was talking about. For those of you that are, are not familiar with this story, there was a gentleman who's actually a Grammy award-winning jazz artist by the name of Keon Harold and his son. They were staying at this hotel in Manhattan, minding their own business, coming down the elevator, I think one morning for breakfast. As they exited the elevator, this young lady, I think her name is Maya Ponsetto, they saw, call her Soho Karen, confronted them in the hotel lobby. What did she confront them about? Well, specifically, she confronted this gentleman's 14-year-old son, yes, I said 14 years old, basically a baby, um, about him supposedly stealing her cell phone. And just for clarification, guys, you see them pictured here. The young man that was accosted by this lady is shown here in the red cap. And you see the Soho Karen in the baseball cap. Now, what's interesting is that this Soho Karen had actually checked out of the hotel three days earlier. She wasn't even a guest. Um, and she physically assaulted this young man and his father. She jumped on him. Management jumped in, actually asked the young man to see his cell phone. Now, first of all, we all know all these phones look alike. There was no basis for her. She had no basis or claim to this young man's phone. She had just lost her phone at random, as we all have on occasion, and she started harassing this young black boy. And it turns out, a few hours later, the Uber driver, apparently she had left it in her Uber, actually came back to the hotel and turned the phone in. So trigger warning here, guys. Here's just a little bit of the attack. You can see this woman just comes in off the street, just this random person, and jumps on this young boy. Um, she actually got into a physical altercation with the father, with the son who's shown in the red cap. Um, the hotel management really didn't do much to stop this. I think the hotel manager actually asked to see the son's phone so he could verify that, you know, it wasn't her phone, which is totally ridiculous. Why would that be her phone if she had checked out three days earlier? She had no basis for her claims. So it actually took a while to track this uh, young lady, and I use the word young lady in quotes there. Uh, to track her down but they did find out that she lived in california they found they found out what her name was um stupidly enough she actually agreed to do an interview with gail king um as what often happens in these situations you know these karens come back and try to explain it away or clean it up um but it didn't go so well as you might expect um gail really wasn't letting her off the hook i'll let you guys hear an excerpt from the uh interview and make your own conclusions the deeper, what is the deeper story? Yeah, it's not, it, it, that's not the problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this, this teenager. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone. And then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. Oh, I yeah. got it. Enough. Let me know if you've heard about this story. Let me know how you would have reacted to this. You're just not going, and it was just the whole privilege of it all. Could a black woman, and okay, this lady, she was, I don't know. 
No, well, she, she was she was white. She was a white. Could, well, I just said it. Could I, as a black man, go across two white women? Right. Getting off the elevator? So could a, could a black woman have come in and approached a white family and yes. said, "Give me your phone. That's my phone." Like, girl, what are you crazy? And then what is the basis again? All the phones look alike. How did you can't you have find your iPhone and you just use? And I think the guy said you need to use find your iPhone. And so. <laughs> And so the moral of the story here is the Uber driver. He had the phone. Had the phone. She left it in the Uber. Karen's, we need for you to remain over in 2020. She's probably lost her job. They're gonna. They haven't released her name as of the filming of as of right now. They haven't released her name. They probably will. And mm -hmm. she's messed up her whole. Yeah. So name. 2021 would like for all Karen's, and I'm gonna insert myself here. Please, Karen, stay over in 2020. This is what I want for 2021, for us all to get along. I don't make declarations for... Yeah, we don't really do resolutions. Resolutions for, tw for, the, for the new year. I just try to, you know, live the life God has blessed me to live and try to do, try to do the best I can and, you know, embrace my fellow man and, you know, my, make sure I'm not a Karen. And so let's just try to all get along, please. And look, Karens, I think, can Karens be black too? We said those are Keisha's. Not really. Not really? All right. I, I, that's a good question. That is a good you question. Know what I, I haven't seen anything filmed. You know what I think? No, there are some Keisha's. This is what I want. I want Keisha to start being good to your sister. Keisha, I start being that. good to Keisha. I am so tired of seeing us out in, in the stores fighting. It is ridiculous. I saw a video, Chase showed it to me over the break, of two women fighting at Walmart. It was two black women. And the, one of the women got the best of the other woman that had her on the ground and literally stepped on this other woman's face. We gotta stop that. Leave that mess in 2022. Let, let's just all be kind and nice. Let's, let's stay out of, other, out of each other's faces. Yeah, face. yeah. yeah. It's not that serious. What y'all fighting about in the yeah. store? Don't get any, let's not show the world that that's how we treat one another. Yeah. We gotta love each other if we want other people to love us. So let's just make sure we are being very kind to ourselves so that when we are out in the world, you know, people will respect us also. Look, people should respect you no matter what, but let's make sure we're going that extra mile to uh, respect one another. All right, drop down below, leave a comment, let us know what you feel should be left over in 2020. Let me know if you got the phone call from 2021. You know, she has a lot of friends out there, so leave a comment, let us know. And if you disagree, hey. Yeah. Just keep it classy, keep it, this is all in good fun, keep it respectful. What's up YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. Obviously I feel blessed to be able to join you for what will be, and we're gonna claim it, a better 2021. Of course, I want to thank all of you guys for riding with the Unfrumpy Mommy store and YouTube channel and Instagram throughout 2020. You guys have been awesome. We see that support continue to roll into 2021. This is going to be one of the biggest pink packet shout outs we've had in a while. You know, the store just opened in the new year and you guys have already flooded us with orders. We've got some hot new designs and I think they're just they're just flying off the shelves. We've already gotten. Get, well, I'll put it like this. Who do you think placed our first order? As the clock turned into 2021 and the store opened up, who do you think placed the first order? If you follow the store, the Unfrumpy Mama, you know who our, you know, number one customers are. So you probably figured it out. Judy S. out of Wachula, Florida. First order 2021. Thank you so much, Judy. Um, Judy's had dozens of orders at this point. We really appreciate that. We do not take it for granted, Judy. And Judy, 
we know you're going to be blessed and have a fruitful 2021. We also would be remiss if we did not shout out our second order of the new year. This is another frequent customer, Lori S. out of Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you so much, Lori. Um, this looks like it is your seventh order with the store and you are our second order of the new year. So thank you so much, Lori S. out of Fort Worth, Texas. Let's just roll right on to it. These are in no particular order, um, but these are all, you know, again, this is one of our largest pink package shout outs we've had in a while. Um, so many of you, by the way, ordered, you know, supported the store for Christmas, the Christmas holidays. We got so much love and emails and letters. A lot of you, you know, use the Unfrumpy Mommy store to purchase unique gifts. So really, we really appreciate that. If you haven't, go to our reviews, go to the reviews page in the Unfrumpy Mommy store. You'll see all the shout outs and Instagram posts and all that stuff. Crystal W. Um, it says this is our second order, but I know it's not out of Concord, North Carolina. Um, three Lux shirts. Thank you so much, Crystal. Keely B out of Philly. Um, let's see. Faith on the Cross hoodie and a shh, Don't Scare 2021 t-shirt. We do have a New Year's shirt. It's called Don't Scare 2021. <laughs> we want 20, 2021 needs to take come into the house, take a seat and calm down. Don't do what 2020 did and come into the house and make a mess. Just 2021, we need you to act right. Um, so thank you so much, Keely. Obviously, you feel like that out of Philly. Faith on the cross and shh, don't scare 2021 shirt. Kimberly A uh, from LA, um, another Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Kimmy A or Kimberly A out of LA. Thank you so much for your Lux shirt purchase. All right, big order from V, and that's spelled V-E-E-C, V-C out of, and Texas always represents, um, Lancaster, Texas. Let's see, this looks like four Lux shirts. Thank you so much, V-C out of four, out of Lancaster, Texas. Patricia M, Friedrichsburg, Virginia. Um, this says first order, but that name Friedrichsburg sounds familiar. So Patricia, either this is not your first order, we've got somebody else from Friedrichsburg, and you ordered a Lux shirt. Coletta S out of Fayetteville, Georgia, home team. Thank you so much. Two Lux shirts. Always love it when we get an order uh, out of Atlanta. Fayetteville is a suburb here in Atlanta. Thank you so much, uh, Coletta S. Laquana L, Laquana L out of Homestead, Florida. It says this is your first order. It may or may not be. We're not 100% sure. Homestead, Florida, you guys know we got a lot of love for Florida. Another Lux shirt. So my wife has a new Tiffany shirt. It is very popular. Check that out. A lot of these Lux shirts are that Tiffany shirt. Um, Angela G, I, rem I definitely remember this name, Rutherfordton, North Carolina. Yeah, I remember you, Angela G, out of Rutherfordton. Uh, Melanin and a Lux hoodie, two hoodies. It's still hoodie season, big, thick package. Some nice, comfy, cozy hoodies, keep you warm. Winter is still here. It's been a tough winter, too, in a lot of other... It's been pretty mild here in uh, Atlanta and in the South in general, but I know uh, up north, you know, you guys have had, you know, some, some tough winter weather. Um, Rakita M., Chesterfield, Virginia. Thank you so much. Rakita says your first order. Uh, a Lux shirt and a Caramel Cutie t-shirt. All right. Three Lux shirts ordered by Celia Lee K. I remember Celia Lee's name. I really like that name. Uh, North Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you so much, Celia Lee. Uh, three Lux shirts. Says it's your fifth order. We must be doing something right, Celia Lee. You continue to come back and show us love. Catherine S. out of Wheeling, Illinois. I don't remember Wheeling, so this probably is your first order, Catherine. It says it's your first. Catherine S. out of Wheeling, Illinois. Uh, a Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Catherine. All right. This is another kind of New Year shirt um, ordered by Brenda G. out of Clayton, North Carolina. It's called Walking Into the New Year. It's kind of a Lux slash new year shirt it's more of a luck shirt but it also is a nice theme on the new year um brenda g out of clayton north carolina you know has the common theme you see of kind of the black woman strutting into the new year with a little lux twist on it thank you so much uh and again brenda hopefully hopefully you had a good 2020 brenda but hopefully 2021 is even better and last but certainly not least paula a second order semi home team macon georgia macon is two hours south of Atlanta. At this point, Atlanta is sprawled out so much that it might as well be considered a suburb at this point. But beautiful city, Macon, Georgia. Um, Paula A. 
ordered uh, the Spoiled Wife t-shirt. That's kind of an oldie but goodie, one of the classic designs. Thank you so much, Paula, out of Macon, Georgia. Um, a lot of packages. I think I know we'll have a couple of more pink package shout out, at least one more this week. And, and again, I'm just glad to be back with you guys. And I'm looking forward to a whole 12 months of pink package shout outs. And I will see you on the next pink package shout out. What's up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. Another day of pink package shout outs for me. So I am certainly blessed. And I'm really blessed because our first pink package shout out is really unique because this person actually placed two orders within hours of each other. So this is, and I love the name Zelda, which is one of my favorite video games. Zelda E out of Chicago, Illinois. Shout out to Zelda E. Her first order, this first envelope, is a luxe shirt. Thank you so much, Zelda. And then her second order, this other envelope, two more luxe shirts. So thank you so much, Zelda E. Um, I think this is your first couple of orders from the store. So if so, welcome. Welcome to the store. And we appreciate your patronage. Our next order, Ernestine J. Ernestine J out of Auburn, Alabama. Shout out to Auburn. Auburn University, Auburn football team. I've talked about college football in the South, Auburn versus Alabama. Clemson, we just got whooped on by Ohio State, but you know, we're still the greatest football team in the Southeast. But anyway, Ernestine J uh, bought a Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Ernestine out of Auburn, Alabama. Cherry W, shout out to Cherry W out of Chesterton, Indiana. Chesterton, Indiana, two Lux shirts. Thank you so much, Cherry W out of Chesterton. This is your first order. Welcome to the family. And last but certainly not least, C, C E E, C G. Last initial is G out of La Plata, Maryland. A Lux shirt. Thank you so much, C G. Looks like this is your first order out of La, pa La Plata, Maryland. And I will thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you guys on the next Pink Package shout out. What's up, YouTube family? Hopefully you're feeling blessed and not stressed. I feel blessed to be able to bring you my third Pink Package shout out of the week. Let's get into it. Is It is an ugly and grotesque day here in Atlanta. It's raining, as you can see, at 39 degrees. But hey, we're going to make the best of it. And one of the people that's going to help us make the best of it is Dina A. out of Waterloo, Iowa. Dina A. out of Waterloo, Iowa. Dina, this is your first order. Welcome to the family. Thank you very much for being a patron of the Unfrompted Mommy Store and brightening my day on this rainy Atlanta day and blessing us with this order. Uh, Dina out of Waterloo ordered a Lux shirt. Next order, and this is her third order, Donetta P. out of Gardena, California. Donetta P. out of Gardena, third order. Looks like two Lux shirts. Thank you so much, Donetta, for your third order. Brit, Bertine, Bertine B. Bertine B out of San Francisco. Spent many, many vacations and work trips in San Francisco. Love that part of the country. Uh, a Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Bertine, for this order out of San Francisco, California. You see, we've been to Alcatraz. Of course, we've done the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, Embarcadero, we've hung out down there. We've done a lot of different things in San Francisco. Love that, love that city. Uh, this next person is a great friend of the store. We shouted her out so many times. Um, got a lot of love for Antonina G right around the corner in Duncan, South Carolina. Thank you so much, Antonina G. This is your fourth order. Caramel Cutie and a Lux shirt. Thank you so much, Antonina, and I will see you on the next Pink Package shout out.